Hey guys, welcome back. I hope you enjoyed that first video on making a business card. This next video is gonna be on setting up your postcard or direct mail piece. Now, I talked a little bit about this in the last video, and if you haven't seen that video, it's up here, possibly over here. I'm not really sure I put the link, but it will show you how to do the business card, but I also talked about a postcard and using it as a direct mail piece. So you could also send it in the mail as well as hand it out to somebody. So let's hop into that. This is how to build a double-sided postcard for your business. All right, and here we are in Photoshop. We are gonna be working on the postcard now for Noodle and You, our imaginary ramen and sake uh, restaurant. Um, if you haven't already, uh, check out the other tutorial on how we built the, um, the business card. This is what uh, the postcard is gonna end up looking like at the end. Uh, this is going to be one side of it and this will be the other side of it this postcard will be able to be handed out inside the restaurant or we've also made it so that you can make it a mailer and send it in the mail to somebody if you need to or if you want to do a direct mail campaign um again we are a again we're a channel that focuses on branding of small businesses and getting your brand to look nice and solid and hopefully bring in more business for you and the company that you run or the brand that you run maybe you're just an artist or a, a musician whatever you may be um, this all applies um, so anyway let's get into it a little bit so on the front side um, I, I'm going to talk a little bit more about strategy too um, I instead of just going like piece by piece on how to build this which I, I will do I'll kind of break it down what I did I want to talk more about the strategy of why I'm doing it. Um, a lot of tutorials tend to not talk about that. <laughs> they just kind of talk about, hey, put this picture here, put this there, but not really a reasoning to it. Um, over all the years of being in the print business, you know, and seeing so many direct mail pieces come by, the ones that tend to be the most successful are the ones that are very direct and to the point. So, since we are a ramen and sake, place the first thing I wanted to do is show the product um, the product is what's going to get people in the door in the end um, this goes for any business guys if you have a product that just isn't good you, you you're just gonna have a hard time marketing it that's just the bottom line um, it's kind of like the garbage in garbage out theory if you don't have a good product to market it, you can you can throw millions of dollars at that it'll still fail in the end because the product just or the offer just wasn't good enough so with that in mind noodle and you the imaginary restaurant that we made has the best the best ramen in town okay um, I I'm gonna highlight that on this side which we'll go over in a second but best ramen in town so I went and I found an amazing stock image of some really tasty looking ramen and that that does taste look just delightful so anyway i said this is going to look great it has a nice wood background it was just a really well taken food shot so this is a great shot to start with so i put this in as our main focal point and um you know the the original picture i'll show you what it looks like here uh let's see you can see is actually a, a quite a big, large picture of a couple different things, but I just cropped it. And you're like going, oh, wait a second. There's like a little stretch, uh, little part right here. Well, what I did is that once I got it over here, I just clipped a little piece of the end of it and I moved it over and then stretched it over. And that's what uh, created this background. So I made a full background all the way around. Um, that's pretty seamless you're not going to pay attention to that but it just it continues the look of what i wanted to go for um secondly i need to kind of brand it right off the bat so uh, if you saw the first business card what we did um this is our logo that we're using for noodle and you the the noodle and you font is going to be uh it's called helvetica noodle i think it's what it's called and then the uh no havelica doodle sorry and then the actual art piece is just uh, a logo that, that i had found on free pick which is a vector so i'll be able to make this as big or as small as i want throughout again check out the other uh tutorial to know a little bit more about that but let's get back into our postcard so i had taken that logo over here and i had placed it over here i kind of made it vertical um that matched the back side also of 
the business card, as you can see. So everything's kind of starting to visually tie in at least. And this postcard is also going to be kind of the first step towards branding this company towards a certain vibe and look. And right now I'm kind of going with these kind of creams, uh, dark browns, um, blended in with these wood tones. I think that's going to be a general, uh, generally a good look for this particular uh, company. Each company, your company, anybody's company is going to have its own needs. Know that guys, you can't just cookie cutter everything. And honestly, if you're trying to build something that grows and becomes something large, you can't be cookie cutter. In fact, you have to be kind of more cutting edge. So it's best just to stay true to your brand. Um, and I'm going to make another video on branding, which is going to go over a little bit more in depth about how you should be looking at your company's look, feel, and tone and how it comes across to the public. So anyway, back to the business, to the uh, postcard, sorry. Um, I wanted right off the bat to have a call to action. Um, so whether they pick up this side of the card or the other, they get something from that first page. So other than the branding, we have a big 50% off. And that means that you buy one, let's get the second one for half off. Um, in general, it's lots of uh, statistics through you know, advertising and marketing has shown any kind of offer over 30% tends to get a lot of interest and 50% um, discounts or more or, you know, buy one, get one free kind of stuff tend to get the most engagement. So since this is our grand opening of this place, I wanted to kind of get as many people in the door because I know once they get here, they're going to taste the product and want to come back, right? Because you have a good product. So anyway. Down here, we made us a little, uh, a little like coupon box. And the way I did that, I, I just basically took the shape tool over here. And if you take the shape tool and you draw a triangle, right? Um, over here, there's a panel that lets you control what it looks like. So what I did, I gave it a white border, okay? And I gave it a dark brown interior. And then over here under the stroke, I was able to give it a, uh, like a coupon kind of dashed edge. So that way it really sticks out as a coupon and then I just placed it. Um, I sized it by hitting Control T, which brings up your transform, which means you can shape it up and down, or you can uh, you can also turn it. If you, if you just kind of push the cursor a little bit away, you see it kind of turns into that little curve. Now if you go grab and kind of move, you can also move it now too. But uh, anyway, um, that is how I created this and I just put some text on top of that. Um, I already went over how to make text in the last video, so I don't need to kind of rehash that, I don't think, for you guys. But um, let's move on to the second page. So also, the template that I'm using, guys, um, is also from our website. So uh, you should be able uh, just to go uh, in the description below. There is a link to this particular um, template. I'll also actually be uploading this exact PSD. I thought... It would be interesting just for you guys just to have a PSD to see how the layers were set up. You could even use it as a base template if you wanted to, I don't really care. Um, this is more just to show you guys how to kind of uh, create consistency and do it throughout multiple pieces um, to kind of keep your brand uh, solid, you know, all the way through. So anyway, if you go to givemesigns.com, um, under templates, you'll be able to find this template, but I'll, again, there's a link down below. Um, it comes up just like the other business card comes up where you have your safety guidelines. So this uh, top line on the outside is the cut line. So anything in this top outer white area is all going to get cut off, guys. So make sure anything in that area is something you don't mind getting cut off. Um, if you have a bleed, let's say you have a, a picture that you want going off the side, very similar to what we have actually uh, going on here, okay? Um, make see how I have it going off the page so that way when it gets cut it actually is going to get cut on this line uh, not the very edge so that's what that is the inner line is for text and graphics as you can see all my text and graphics are far into that because this is getting a little bit close to that line sometimes a uh, real printer uh, printing machines or cutting machines are off just by like a sixteenth of an inch and that sixteenth of an inch is going to make it look weird if you don't place it right so make sure all your main images and stuff are inside here the right way again go to givemesigns.com to get that um, 
now that we got our front page kind of figured out. So this is kind of like, if this came in the mail, if that was sitting on your counter and you have all these real estate <laughs> direct mail pieces and you know, the postcard that has like an encyclopedia of information on it, this is definitely gonna stick out a little bit more. You might get at least an eyeball on it before it goes into the trash can. And that's really with direct mail what you're looking for. Um, if this is something that you hand out in your restaurant, um, and I, I really recommend having this at the register um, if you have like a restaurant like this, um, mainly because as the people are going, hand them that card and it gives them 50% off. It gives them a good opportunity to come back and try your restaurant again. And in the restaurant, the bar game, the service industry, your goal is to get that person to come back three times. Three times is the magic number because if they come back three times, they tend to have already liked it enough to accept it and it becomes a little bit of a subconscious habit and they'll put you in their kind of roster of restaurants or bars to attend. So keep that in mind guys, you want them to come back. It's about return customers. So anyway, that's what this is here for. It's a call to action, like 50% off. Oh, okay, let me find out more. But notice that I didn't put any more information on here at all because it's not my goal for them just to look at the side. My goal is for them to get more in and it's also creating a subconscious yes. So they're like, yes, I do wanna know more about the 50% off. Are you following me? So that's where we flip to the back side. Okay, so on the back side, again, good looking photography is really important guys. And I found this great shot that of a inside of a ramen place that I thought would look great as a representation of noodle and you our imaginary restaurant place. So this just went on the left side. I kept the color that I had on the front the same. So there's nice consistency all the way around. So now we're building kind of the company colors that we can use throughout all the other pieces that we're gonna be making. Cause we're gonna make all the pieces guys. That's what the series is about is taking one example company and we're gonna make all the pieces. We're gonna make all the print pieces. We're gonna make you a, um, a booth so that if you go to an event or even a small setup for an event, and we're also gonna set up your social media, start learning how to do those Facebook ads, get into the modern world and combine that with now the bricks and mortar stuff that you still need to do. You know, there's a big misconception that, you know, you can just do everything online now and that is false, guys. That is 100% false, you know, online is great to get out and for reach to get engagement uh, started, but you still got to bring the goods. You know, if someone actually goes from Facebook or Instagram or Yelp to your restaurant. You still got to make sure that that's the best experience that they can have and that hopefully they'll be coming back. So, um, the first thing, let's get them in the door. So, um, if this was like a mailer, a direct mailer, that's what this is up for. This is our testimonial. You want that social proof and you can't get that because it's not online. So this is how do you do that? Well, testimonials, that's been used for years. And so put a nice testimonial. We had a review from the LA Times imaginary um, review that gave us the best ramen ever had, authentic broth, cool ambience makes the place, a, 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 a cool ambience makes this place a big thumbs up. And it's by the LA Times. So of course I put that on top because that's gonna also create FOMO. And if you don't know what FOMO is, that is fear of missing out. That means, wow, I don't wanna miss out on the best ramen in Los Angeles, so we gotta go check this place out. And there's a grand opening special. I'm following that up with a call to action right afterwards where it's all, I got you interested now, and here's a, an even better reason to come check us out. We're gonna give you 50% off one of the entrees. Sounds good to me. All right, and there, we put an expiration date and we want that expiration date in there to create urgency. So again, we have the testimonial, which creates that social proof, that fear of missing out. Then we back it up with an offer to like, hey, come try us out. And then we make sure that there's an uh, immediacy to it because we want them to get here and do that as soon as possible so we can start getting them into our funnel, our sales funnel. And we'll talk about funnels later down the road as well. This is just the start guys. This is just us beginning. And it doesn't have to be the best postcard guys. It doesn't have to be the most amazing looking design. Um, even though I, I think this is okay. <laughs> Not to toot my own horn, but I think this is a good way to start. It, it's drawing people in. It, it kind of gives you a look of what the place would be like. So I'm not 
overly curious of like, am I gonna walk into like some weird place? It's like, no, give them some ambience of what you're doing. And then the food that you're offering, give them a good call to action. And then uh, again, like with this, I just did the same thing. I just kind of created a box again over here and created the white box. Um, I got some logos from Yelp from Google and from Facebook and I put them down here as well and I created one more call to action on this and the reason is is that um, as I was telling you we want the people to come back we want them a reason to come back um, let's say they come back on this 50% off and they also realize it's even a more it's even a better deal because if we go there and we just check in we already know we like the place because let's say you handed this out to somebody and they're like I'm gonna bring a friend here's an easy way for them to bring a friend um, and they can get a free drink out of it. You go check in and leave a review and get a free drink. I mean, the cost on this to a business owner is nothing. And that review is worth, I mean, I, it's, I can't begin to tell you how much a good review is going to do for your business, especially if it's on Google reviews or Yelp or on Facebook, people love social proof. So remember that guys, um, always add this stuff in and this is also the beginning of getting us to connect our online presence to our actual bricks and mortar presence so let's remember that let's always remember to have some sort of testimony some kind of social proof on that postcard make sure there's some kind of offer some kind of call to action why should they come visit you and your business then make sure that there is another kind of a bonus offer and that's usually like the check-in something small it doesn't have to be huge it could be something small if this, if you're not a restaurant let's say you're a a, a, a car deal a, you know a mechanic say you know maybe you could do um you know leave a review and get a, a ten dollar oil change or something you know figure out whatever that is for you that's not a, a ton of work that can maybe bring in a review a review you know is incredibly valuable so don't discount those kind of thing, guys, okay? And um, again, I reinforced that coupon that was on the first side right here, and I just kind of enlarged it and put it on this side as well, so that way they definitely know it's 50% off. Bring this back in, okay? So now we have our postcard. Um, that's the front, that's the back. This is the back side um, of the business card, and then this is the front side of the business card. So as you can see, we're starting to kind of have this kind of consistent looking feel all across our marketing pieces so far. So, um, also, uh, I'm just trying to look at stuff like I didn't go over on the first tutorial. So, uh, also on, on this, this kind of a cream colored block that I put here, I added a drop shadow to it. Um, and the way you do that, okay, because that's how, originally how it looked like that, okay? I wanna add a drop shadow. So what you do, you go under here under effects and then you click drop shadow and it brings this up, okay? I put it at 35%. I don't like my drop shadows to be really harsh. I like them to be very subtle. Um, I put it just slightly away from where it needed to go and I click okay. And there it is. And there is the drop shadow. So it just kind of gives a little bit more separation, makes it a little bit easier to kind of know that this is what I want you to pay attention to. So that was that. Um, other than that, that was about it. This uh, particular uh, stars, these stars that I have up here, guys, is a font. And that font I will put down in the description. I believe it was called 90, let me see what it's called. 90 stars. B BRK, the font is called 90 stars BRK and you can download it. Um, it it's just easy because it had a bunch of stars in there that are really kind of or, uh, ornate and I thought that kind of matched the ramen feel. So check it out. And the last thing you want to kind of pay attention to is the address area. Um, there's going to be a little indicia or you could just put a regular stamp here as well. But if you take this to um, let's say a print shop or somebody that can merge, like mail merge for you guys. Um, it's usually called EDDM, which is like electronic mail merging, and it, uh, it's for direct mail. Um, we are gonna start offering that on givemesigns.com probably in the next coming months, um, where you'll be able to actually just go through us and we already will have all the addresses. All you need to do is basically upload the artwork and then pay for the postage. So um, there's companies that do that currently, 
they'll need this area for what it's called it's an indicia it's a postage thing okay so this is a four by six card um so usually on these they're great for mailers so i always make it so they can either be a mailer or a handout in the establishment that you're or a handout in the business that you run so anyway that's what i've done here um the next uh, part of the series I'm going to actually turn this now this postcard into a door hanger so it's basically going to have the exact same information we're just going to show you how to kind of start from scratch on how to take one design and take it over to another shape another piece um, the reason we're going to do a door hanger is if you have some kind of a bricks and mortar regardless if it's a restaurant or a gym or you're a mechanic or whatever it is that you may have um, Door hangers, if you have local business that you're trying to attack, uh, attract, especially if they're out of the, um, I don't know, the uh, the internet generation, uh, there's a lot of people out there that are still very uh, tech non-savvy. So you still have to try to get that business, and those people usually are very loyal customers for the people that they do find. So I also recommend doing door hangers, and that's something that you can hire, hire some local uh, person to kind of just run by and drop off uh, door hangers around a couple neighborhoods that you're trying to target so um, that's the next one in the series so hopefully you'll stay around for that that should be posted pretty soon here because I'm trying to get these all together so you watch it as a whole um, I'm sorry again I didn't go over more just like the placement of all this stuff but I thought I'm gonna do that in the next video anyway so I thought I'd talk more about the why I'm placing these things on here and why they're it's kind of designed the way it is anyway i hope you like this one i'll check you out in the next series on how to build a door hanger and then also stay tuned for the other ones on branding how to build a logo really quick like in 10 minutes i'm going to show you how to build a logo in 10 minutes um, for the people that don't want to spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars on something that's almost going to probably do the same thing <laughs> anyway stay tuned again my name is billy and i will see you in the next tutorial